Today I've come to the International Space Innovation Centre, which is a national centre for space activities and also a place where many space companies in the UK have their offices, uh, my own company Telespazio Vega included. One day is very much different to the next. The reason I've come here today is to visit one of my staff who's been working on two different programmes and we're just going to catch up on what's been going on over the last few months. We've just successfully completed the CDR, so we're ready for launch in September, October. The work that my group does covers a, a fairly wide range. We monitor the quality of data coming down from Earth observation satellites. We develop software which will be used to support those missions. Uh, we're also out looking for opportunities to bring the data from those missions to the user community. This is the Flight Operations Room at ISIC. The Operations Room is a very busy place. Uh, during the lifetime of a spacecraft, it, it starts being used even before the spacecraft has been launched. The operations team need to be trained to fly the spacecraft, it's a very complicated machine, and they will use a, a simulator which very accurately represents the spacecraft. After the spacecraft's actually been launched into space, that's when the real heavyweight activity starts, and these guys will then have to uh, take the spacecraft, command it into the right orbit. They will then have to take it through a process of, of gradual switch on, and that's a very sensitive time in the mission. This is the interface that they will use uh, to, to fly a spacecraft which is thousands of miles away. The way in which they do that is by sending simple commands uh, to, for example, switch on an instrument or to uh, rotate the spacecraft. The next thing I've got to do today is check out a venue for a workshop that uh, we're running uh, in a couple of months' time. And the aim of the workshop is to uh, bring together user community for uh, radar data collected from space and, and what I need is a, a facility that we can uh, house a lot of people in, get a lot of data up on the screens, show them the kind of products that are going to come down from, uh, from satellites uh, and really kind of try and work out new ways of using the data and getting value out of it. The data that comes down from spacecraft is complex, it needs a lot of processing. The kind of facilities that, uh, that we have on this site I think are, are very well suited to that and, and this screen here I think is going to be great actually for, uh, for putting up images and showing people what the, uh, the data looks like and talking around it. There's a huge amount of talent in the UK for science and technology generally and the space industry is a, is a great industry to work in. There's always something different to work on, every mission is a little bit different. You need electronics engineers, software engineers, scientists, all sorts of skills go into it. We find ourselves working with people from France, from Italy, from Germany, from Spain, all across the continent. Every project that the European Space Agency runs is an international project and so that brings with it some, some challenges dealing with different cultures but also a great deal of getting to know people around Europe.